Welcome back everyone. In this video, we're going to build our second forming control, which is the text area component. We're going to be following the exact same steps we implemented in the previous video. And since we've already gone through the input component in detail, I will be relatively faster in this video. In the UI, a text area forming control would look like this. There are three distinct elements. A form label, which is nothing but a label HTML element. A form input, which is the field component from Formic, which in turn should render a text area HTML element. And finally, the field error, which is the error message component, again from Formic. To implement this text area component, let's take a look at the props required. First and foremost, we set the control prop to text area, which is required to determine the type of formic control we need to render. Second, we need a label prop, which will be the label text for the form field. Third, we pass in the all important name prop, which is required by formic for the field as well as their message components. All right, with this UI and props in mind, let's write the code. We're going to implement this formic control again in three simple steps. First step, we write the code in a new component specific to the field type. In our case, a text area component. Second step, we write the code in the formic control component. Third and final step, we write code in the formic container component, which will help us test the code we write in the browser. So let's begin with step one. For step one, we need to create a new component for the text area formic control. So within the source folder, within the components folder, I'm going to create a new file called textarea.js. Within the file, I'm going to use the snippet rfce to create a function component. For this text area, we would need the field and error message components from Formic. So let's import them. Next, let's talk about the props. From the props this component receives, we're going to destructure, label, name and leave the rest. Finally, we are going to add in the JSX. This is very similar to the last video. We're going to have a div tag with a class name equal to form control. Within this div tag, we first have the label. The text is going to be label and HTML4 is going to be equal to the name prop. Next, we have the field component. We set ID is equal to name, name equal to the name prop, and we are going to spread out the rest of the props as they are. Very similar to the input component. And there is one major addition compared to the input component though, and that is the as prop on the field component. If you have to render a text area element, we need to specify as is equal to text area on the field component. The last part is the error message component and we set name equal to the name prop and component is equal to text error. Make sure to import it at the top. All right, that is our first step, creating the text area component. The second step is to add the code in our formic control component. As we already know, this is really simple. For the switch statement, if the case is text area, we return the text area component that we have just created, passing in rest of the props. Again, make sure to import text area at the top. This is our second step, returning the text area component the control prop is text area. For the third and final step, we add code in the formic container component to test the code we have written in the first two steps. First, we add a property in the initial values object. Description and the initial value is an empty string. Next, let's add a required validation to this field. So in the validation schema, we need to make a copy and change email to description. 
Finally, in the JSX, we can include the farming control. So farming control, and let's add the props. First, we need to specify what kind of a control is this component. So we say control is equal to text area. After that, we pass in the label prop. Label, which is equal to description. Finally, we pass in the all important name prop, which is equal to description in lowercase. Format it, save all the files, and let's test this out in the browser. On page load, we have our text area field along with the label. I click inside and click out, we have the validation. I can type in something and the form state updates. I click on submit, you can see the value in the console. So our text area format control works as expected. Let's go over what we have done one more time to make sure we have the steps imprinted in our mind. So there are three main steps. First step, define the text area farming control. Extract the necessary props and use them. Label for the HTML label tag, name for ID, and the name prop on the field component, and also name for the name prop on the error message component. On the field component, we also pass in the as prop equal to text area. Once we have the component ready, we then import the component in the formic control component and return it for the appropriate case. In this video, we return it for the text area case. All we have left now is testing of the first two steps. For that, we use the formic container component. We specify an initial value, validation rule, and then include the component in the JSX passing in the appropriate props. So we now have a reusable text area formic control component that can be used in any form required. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.